Dr. De Prato tells us the difference between using a passive versus active approach with cupping. Check it out. Set this direction of myofascial decompression towards early loading and early movement and move more as often as possible in as many planes as possible and in as much variation as you can. And that's really kind of tying what we're thinking is the most important part of this technique of, of using cups, right? Not necessarily the cup themselves. The cup doesn't really matter much. It's the power of your intervention on the physiology and that neurobiology of like what the person's going through. 